another thing that sets these two films apart is that the affliction in both films is hereditary, um, which is super interesting. It's an innate condition that Justine and that Thelma have. Um, Justine discovers that cannibalism is passed down through the women in their family. Her mother had it, Alexia obviously is a cannibal too, and vegetarianism was their way of suppressing that. Um, Thelma discovers that her grandmother for years has been hospitalized possibly for a similar condition that she is now developing. And we also learned that Thelma exhibited symptoms of this condition from a very, very young age. She was a child of about five when a horrible accident happened where she, she had a younger brother who she was jealous of as, as children are and um, her psychic powers cause him to die uh, and up to that point her parents brought religion and to her life in a big way to try and suppress um, these powers instead of telling her about them and trying to help her control them so in both films it's made very clear that this condition this affliction this violent impulse is an innate part of who these characters are it's unchanging um what the films are about is okay how do you deal with this inherent part of yourself they are not like carry conditions that are caused by the world around them they're not like social afflictions um carries being her violent impulses are completely shaped by the environment that she's in and with Thelma and Justine that's just not the case they are people with um the innate ability to be good and to do evil, to do harm. Um, the films establish them as people who strive to be good.